Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for January 2021. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy New Year. Um, I want to take a second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading and therefore is not going to resonate with everyone out there. Um, if you would like a personal reading, simply email me. The uh, directions are in the box beneath this video. I'll be happy to help you with that. Um, also, I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. When you subscribe, it throws your energy in with the rest of us, and that does make it a little easier for me to pick up on your story. Um, speaking of stories, if this is not your story, please do not try to fit yourself into it. Um, if it resonates with you, remember that the energy can be flip-flopped, the roles can be reversed. Um, so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Okay, so I do also want to let you guys know, Pisces, that with this particular deck, the fairy deck, um, I do not do reversals. I will do reversals when I use the clarifying deck, but not with the um, fairy deck. Also, um, I do my pull for the, um, the Celtic spread a little bit different than I do the weekly spread, so don't let that throw you off either. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get started, Pisces. Pulling for Pisces. Energy of Pisces. Okay. So the central issue that Spirit wants you to be aware of, we have ego. Okay. All right. So what is directly affecting this? We have the two of summer. Okay. What has happened in the past that directly affects this situation? We have the sun. Why is all this happening? The five of summer. And what is on your mind, Pisces? What you thinking about? Princess of spring. What's coming in the near future for you? The nine of spring. And how are you showing up, Pisces? Eight of autumn. What is the energy coming towards you? Balance. What is spirit's advice? Princess of Winter. And should you take Spirit's advice, your outcome is the Eight of Summer. All right. Bottom of the deck. We do have the Seven of Winter. Okay. All right. So with the Seven of Winter, um, it looks as if, and this is the underlying energy Pisces, it looks as if um, there may be something here that um, you may not be seeing clearly. Um, there may be some deception involved um, because this would be equivalent to the Seven of Swords um, in the traditional deck. So there may be something you're not seeing clearly. It could be self-deception or it may simply be that there has been some deception that is, has affected everything um, that is taking place here in your reading for January. Um, a lot of times, too, this could be um, a case of somebody who may be running away from the truth, avoiding the truth. So um, we'll see as we go through. We'll get a better feeling for that. Now, at the center of the reading, we have ego. Um, ego is comparable to the devil card in the um, traditional deck, and it talks about feeling trapped, um, an illusion of feeling trapped. Um, toxicity, it, being trapped by, you know, something that is toxic, something that is not, um, is not really, um, healthy for you. So, you know, possibly putting too much importance on material items or, you know, possibly, um, it could be, have something to do with this deception that's going on. Um, it, it could even be fear and worry. It could be addictions of some sort. But there is something here to do with toxicity that spirit is wanting you to be aware of. Um, and it, you know, especially when we have these two cards together, that, that is something that you definitely um, need to look at. There, there's something here that is dishonest. There's something, it may even be within you, um, you know, that there's something that you're, you're not being honest with yourself about and it's creating a toxicity within you. It may be outside of you as well. So let's go go ahead. Um, Spirit, why is ego here? Why is ego here?
okay so it's clarified with the six of wands so it looks as if um you may have declared victory over this situation um or now another thing is um pisces it could have to do with some kind of a title of some sort there could be toxicity involved with some kind of a title perhaps the title is not legitimate of some kind um, I don't know. We'll see as we go through. But there is some sort of victory because the Six of Wands talks about um, either being declared, um, having a title declared, or you know, recognition and achievement, um, or it, or success of some kind. Um, now, clarifying the or affecting the this situation, we have the Two of Summer. Now, the Two of Summer is a qu roughly equivalent to the Two of Cups. So it does have to do with a love situation. This is not about work. Um, this has to do with love. Um, and most likely with a soulmate as well, with the Two of Cups here. Um, it also talks about forgiveness with the Two of Cups. So there may have been some kind of a situation here that involves some sort of toxicity and, you know, you may have been able to forgive or the other person may have been able to forgive. And so the relationship was healed. Therefore, there's some sort of victory. Um, why is the two of summer here? Why is the two of summer here? There we go. All right. So we have the page of cups in reverse. Yeah. So it, it occurred um, because somebody was not um, properly demonstrating love. Somebody was holding back their love. <clears throat> now, the Page of Cups in reverse also can indicate an apology. Um, so somebody may have not properly apologized for a situation that did need to be healed. Um, but I feel as if the I feel as if there was a situation here where somebody was not they were immature. Um, pages are very immature energy. And I feel as if somebody here was a little bit immature and they behaved irresponsibly. Um, perhaps another party here was holding back their emotions, not really demonstrating their emotions as they could have. And there may have been some toxicity. Now, um, in a relationship, toxicity can also um, include codependency. So there may be some codependency in this connection. Um, let's, let's go ahead and look. In the past, um, we have the sun. So in the past, this was a very happy connection. Um, it looks as if, you know, you both were feeling very, very happy. Um, you know, things were working out very well. It looks as if you felt, um, you know, victorious in the relationship. You know, there was a lot of, um, a lot of plans that the two of you were making. It's the yes card. The sun is always considered the yes card in the tarot. Yeah, ace of pentacles. So it was stable and it was a, a beginning, you know, very stable, um, probably long standing as well with the ace of pentacles here. It, it was abundant. This was an abundant relationship. It was not a brand new relationship. Now, why is all this happening? We have the five of summer. So I feel as if um, at some point somebody got left behind here. Somebody felt abandoned or, you know, there may have been a breakup in the connection. Um, but Spirit is also saying trust that everything happens for a reason. So be aware of that. And there is also a guidance here for you, Pisces, to remove yourself from negative emotions of others. So um, be aware of that too. Let's see. Why is... Wow, that was... Yeah, Five of Cups. Five of Cups. So there was a lot of love here, but I do feel as if there may have been a breakup in this connection. This was a long-standing connection, Pisces. This was not a brand new connection. And I feel like there may have been um, forgiveness that was offered in this and a coming back together. Um, this originated from somebody not really offering their love in this connection. Somebody was holding back and someone else, or it may have even been the same person, behaved very immaturely. So that's where the toxicity came in. I feel like it may have come in on both, both sides. Um, there may have been codependency in this connection as well, but um, there was a lot of immaturity 
I feel like somebody um, with the codependency and the connection, somebody was withholding emotion in order to to try to get what it is that they wanted. Um, yeah, there was a withholding in order to try to achieve their goals is what Spirit is saying. So for those of you that um, is, this is resonating with, um, there was definitely some codependency in this. Something happened that broke this apart. Someone got left behind. And I do feel like there was a lot of love though. This is a, a relationship where there is a lot of love. Um, and I think forgiveness was offered here. I am still curious though why we have the seven of winter because it's still underlying everything that perhaps there's something here that you're still not seeing clearly, Pisces. Um, so what's on your mind? You have the princess of spring. Um, so I do see that you're being optimistic. You're, you're very, um, you're very optimistic about this. You're, you're looking at this like, um, there it's time for you to expand your horizons with this, that you are, it's time for you to go after your dreams. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I feel like you're being optimistic. I feel like, um, there is also a sense of, of you feeling as if things are going well at this time. Um, this is, this is a card that is very, um, it's a, it's a card of you looking forward into the future. So I think that you, you have an optimistic outlook of, of what is taking place here. All right. I also feel like you're very passionate about this other person. There, there seems to be a lot of passion involved with this card. So in your thoughts, okay? So why is the Princess of Spring here? Why is the Princess of Spring here? Yeah, you're committed to this person. And you also feel um, very optimistic about their commitment to you. So you're feeling good about this. I do feel like whatever took place here, um, there was a toxic situation. It broke the two of you apart, but forgiveness has been offered here. And I feel that the two of you have come back together. And if you haven't come back together, you're optimistic that you will. Now coming into the near future, um, we do have the nine of spring. So that tells me that you're going to be a little bit guarded coming into the future that, you know, you may be guarded um, in case things don't go well. You're still very um, passionate about this person and I think that you still, um, you know, have a lot of emotion for this person, but I do think that you're a little bit guarded. So why, let's get three for the upcoming, can I have three cards? Two more cards, please. Two more cards for what Pisces is coming into in January. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I see you going into January being guarded. And why? Because you feel like you were taken for granted in the past. And I think that you want, you're looking for a change in that with the Four of Cups here. Um, in reverse. So you want to make sure that you are being valued in this connection. Um, we also have the three of cups in reverse. If there was a third party connection, um, I think that you want to make sure that that is no longer an option. Um, because I also feel like, you know, you, you know, for some of you, there was a third party involved in this. If that is the case, and it's not for everybody, so don't don't jump the gun on that, Pisces. But for those of you that that you know were, um, I feel like you're you're not you want nothing to do with that. Um, for those of you that there was no third party involved, I feel like you realize that you were breadcrumbed in the past, and you don't want any of that. It, you realize how unhappy it made you, so you're going to really be defensive. You're really going to make sure that this person that you are involved with, while you're very optimistic, I think that you're also going to be making sure that this person, you know, is treating you um, properly, that they're valuing this connection and valuing you. And we also have the um, Five of Swords here in the upright. So I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna be kind of a little bit in fight mode for yourself, Pisces, 
Um, be careful with that because with the Five of Swords, there is that is a little bit ego driven, and um, be sure that as you're advocating for yourself and you're fighting for yourself, be sure that you're not going overboard with that because with the Five of Swords, sometimes it it is um, somebody who kind of goes overboard and they're going to win at all cost. So. Um, and also with the Five of Swords, we do see a, a little bit of manipulation that can occur here. So be sure that you're not moving in that, that area. This could also be you um, guarding yourself against that. You may feel that the person that you um, were involved with or are involved with can be a little bit manipulative. So you may be on guard against that as well. All right, so now you're showing up, Pisces, with the Eight of Autumn. So I do feel like you are focusing very much on work right now. Um, I do think that you are trying to make sure that um, with, the, with regard to this connection here, I do think that you are trying to make sure that everything is lined up in your favor before you do proceed forward. So let's get three cards to clarify your energy. Wow. So your cards just flipped right out. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we have Ace of Wands in the reverse. We have the Star. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, um, it does look to me like Pisces that during this break, there may have been, you may have been, um, you may have seen other people. There may have been like a one night uh, stand. There could have been a very brief, um, you know, sexual relationship, or it could be, you know, the ending of this connection. But I do see that whatever those things are, um, you know, if you did have um, other connections while that you were on break from this person, those are ended. Um, you do not want to continue those. For those of you that that is not the situation, I do feel like there is now healing coming in after the, this situation ended. Um, there is healing going on within this connection. And with the Knight of Cups, I do think that you are going to be very careful because the Knight of Cups is in reverse. So I see you kind of holding your emotions back. You do still very much want to be in this connection with the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, but I don't think that you're going to be rushing into this. I think that you're going to be kind of holding back, waiting for the other person to come forward to you. Um even though you do very much want this connection, I don't see you moving forward in this connection. I see you holding back. Um, and this is a long-standing connection, incidentally. This is not this is not a new connection. Now, some of you did have, um, you did during this break that you had with this person, I do think that you did see other people. Um, and that's, that's over. You're no longer seeing those people. All right, so... Let's um let's see what's coming towards you. Now what's coming towards you is balance, all right? So um with balance uh you could be dealing with a Libra here cuz this would be Libra's card. Um but you don't have to be. So with balance um it looks to me as if um there is a sense of justice. So this person wants a sense of justice in this um in this connection. They want their um, their input to be taken in consideration. They are trying to take your input into consideration. And I do feel like this person is trying to balance out their energies, balance out the connection. Can I get three cards? Okay. All right, so the person coming towards you Pisces has the eight of cup or eight of coins in reverse. They have the nine of wands, um, and you have the nine of wands too. So you're both feeling kind of um, battle worn in this connection. And they have the queen of cups in the reverse. So I do feel like this person is wanting. Um, they want to do the right things. They feel like things. Um, they're having difficulty seeing it, how things are going to work out. 
I don't feel like they're really trying to put the work into this um, the way that you're going to want to see them do. They're trying to balance out their emotions right now, but I do feel like they're feeling pretty battle-worn and they're defensive as well. Now, they are overcoming obstacles, but I do feel like um, they're really not going to be putting a lot of work into this connection because they're pretty defensive as well. You're both very defensive here. And with the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like they're kind of holding back their emotions too. So Pisces, it looks like both of you are really holding back. And it looks like neither of you really want to put, you know, to take action. Um, although I can see that in your thoughts, you feel optimistic about the connection. So, um, but it seems like neither of you actually want to, to take the steps forward. It's almost like there's a standoff going on here. Um, and I can tell you too that your person feels like they want justice for something here. Um, that they feel somehow as if perhaps they have been done wrong in the past. So they're looking for justice in this connection. Um, now for, and, and there's this underlying thing here about avoidance or running away, um, not really facing the truth. So something's not quite adding up Pisces. Now spirits, um, advice to you, you have the princess of winter, which is basically spirit is telling you to look deeper, that there's information here that you really are not facing. There's something here you're not facing, something you don't want to hear. It's difficult for you to hear, but it, it's going to be helpful in this situation. Um, and it might be a truth that you need to speak, or it could be something that you need to hear. But Spirit is telling you to look deeper. Um, let's clarify. Okay. Okay, yeah. So again, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. That is a progression, by the way. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Two of Cups. So, Spirit is telling you to look deeper, Pisces. There's something here that's not adding up, just like I said. And whatever that is, the, there's something, it's deceptive. So there's either self-deception going on or there's deception um, from you or the other person. There's deception either in the connection or self-deception. So spirit is telling you to look deeper. There's something that's not adding up and we're seeing it all over this reading. Um, you know, it's the underlying energy and spirit is pointing it out twice here. So um, the deception that is going on is it's, Something that is causing you to feel very tied up in your head. So I don't know if, Pisces, if you're holding back a secret or if you know of something that you're not relating. But we see that, we see that the, we see the Eight of, of Swords here. So that's, that's you going over and over in your head. That's you, you know constantly thinking about this, constantly, you know, looking through this, looking over it, you know, constantly mulling this over. Um, and, and you're basically imprisoning your own self because at any point you can walk away from this. At any point you can unbind yourself. So I feel as if, Pisces, there's something you don't want to see here because in the Eight of Swords, if you notice, and the Eight of Swords, she's blindfolded, all right? And so I feel like there's something you don't want to see within this connection. But once you release yourself from that, it's going to release you then from the sadness that you've felt. You're going to be able to let go of regret. There's some regrets that you will be able to release and let go of. And then we have the Two of Cups again. Um, so we have the two of cups over here affecting this connection. So I feel like there's a lesson here that needs to be learned. There's forgiveness that needs to be given, but there is something that is not being acknowledged, not being faced. 
And I do feel like it's, it's something you're not willing to look at. You're not willing to see, Pisces. Now, if you are um, able to do that, if you're able to face it, if you're able to look at it, um, we see, you know, an, an end to the regrets, an end to the, you know, obsessive worry, which, you know, may be the toxicity you're looking at. Um, and then forgiveness. But we also have the Eight of Summer as the outcome. Now, the Eight of Summer indicates that, you know, there is someone who is going to be walking away from a situation and moving towards something that is more fulfilling and more meaningful. So, you know, this could be you walking away from, you know, a past situation that caused a lot of grief, or it could be you walking away from this connection. So let's clarify. And it may be for some of you, it's, you know, walking away from the situation. For others, you may be walking away from the connection. It's going to vary, and I think that you'll know in your heart. Also remember, Pisces, it's so easy for people to tell you what to do. Never give your power up to anyone else. Not a reader, not a psychic, not, not your friends and family, because you live with your choices. So, all right, so clarifying, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and we have the world. All right, so this is indicating to me that um, you will take action with the Queen of Wands. That's a card of action, but not until, it, not until the divine timing. So you're being guided here, Pisces. You're not on your own in this, in this endeavor. Um, you are being divinely guided. So in divine timing, and it's not divine timing at this point, you will take action and you will, let me hold the cards up so you can see. So you're going to take action, Queen of Wands, in divine timing. Right now it's not divine timing because we have the wheel in reverse, right? And you will close out this cycle and you will move forward into a new cycle. And like I said, for some of you guys, that what is the new cycle? Well, you're walking away from one thing in order to find what is more fulfilling to you. For some of you guys, that's going to be walking away from whatever this was that caused the deceit, the deceit that caused the heartache. You'll be walking, you'll be offering forgiveness. That forgiveness will allow you to close this cycle out and move forward in this connection, in into the two of cups connection. For others of you, you're going to be closing out this, this connection entirely. And you're going to know in your heart what is right for you. My suggestion is that, you know, don't listen to other people. Listen to you, your heart. You know in your heart what you need to do. We all have that internal guidance. So, you know, pray, ask for guidance. Um, because when you ask for guidance, it, it will be given to you. But in divine timing and with guidance from spirit, I do see you um, closing out this cycle, whether it be the cycle in this connection or the connection itself. There was some sort of um, either self-deception or deception within the connection. And it has gravely affected this, but um, I do see that it's not completely over. There are still lessons here that are being learned. So let's go ahead and get a... Um, some advice from the angels. Uh, well, you got two cards and we're going to take them. Let's see what you got. Everyone else just got one, but you got two and I, I, feel, I feel like it's correct to take them. All right, so the first card you have, Pisces, it says innocence. Okay, innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. There's that forgiveness right there, Pisces. There it is. All right, let's see what was the second card. Because like I told you, everybody else just got one card. Let's see what yours says. It says life purpose. Okay, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. 
Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So there are lessons being learned in this connection, whether it's for you or for the cross watcher that is going to affect your life purpose. Um, you will know what they are. So, you know, th this is a very, this is being guided by spirit. This You're not on your own in this Pisces or cross watcher. Um, this is being guided by spirit. I feel like there are life lessons that are being learned here. You know, some of it has to do with forgiveness, but um, I, I feel like there's deeper things here going on. So I hope this has been helpful to you, Pisces. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Like and share the video. Um, drop me a comment because I do read all of your comments. And this is a very interesting reading. I'd love to see what's going on. Um, and until I see you next time, Happy New Year and Namaste.